Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to do a comparison video uh, between the Shirogorov F95 and the Cheberkov Scout. Now these both belong to my very good and dear friend Alex from Alex's Knife Box. Link to his channel down below. I'm also going to put a link to the Shirogorov video and a link to the Scout video so that you can go back and see the full details on both. But Alex bought this one first and then a little while later he got this one to compare because they're both made they're both Russian knives. This is a production high end high end production and this is a full custom. So he bought the custom for way less than the production to compare. And I think they're very similar. And I, I did, you know, in the video of this one, I did kind of do a quick side by side, but I wanted to go into a little more detail in this video and just try to make a not such a long video on the last one and just kind of break it up. So, so that's what we're going to do here today. And really they are, without comparing the exact dimensions, they are very similar in size, both closed and in overall length and shape and pretty much everything. I mean, they really are very similar blade shapes, very similar handle shapes. Now, I'm not going to say which one is better or worse. I think I like certain aspects of both and I would combine certain things from each into one for like the perfect knife. It, it, I don't know about the perfect knife, but the perfect hybrid of these two. So the action on this one is it, it, it wins. Okay, and I'm not going to judge these by numbers. Maybe, you know, maybe I should have done that. But the action on this one absolutely wins over this. This is a nice, smooth action, but it's not drop shut. And again, is drop shut a thing? Do we have to have drop shut? I don't know. But the action wins on this one. As far as accoutrements, I would absolutely take a Timascus clip over the bronze clip of the Shirogorov. I think it's a much nicer looking shape, in my opinion. I like that it's got hidden hardware and I like the fact that it's Timascus, okay? The backspacer, I love the fact that it's a Timascus backspacer, but I hate the fact that it is a very rough cut hole and that they like literally there's a hole all the way through where they cut in to make this rough opening for the lanyard. If that had not had any hole at all, then this backspacer would belong on this knife, I guess, so to speak. I would take the backspacer and the clip from this knife and put it into the action of this knife. The other thing is the feel in the hand. This feels great. You bear down, you could cut cardboard for quite an extended period of time and do some hard work with this and you would be very comfortable. This guy, the edges are not sharp, but they're uncomfortable if you're really bearing down on this scales. And if you were to use this and break down cardboard for an extended period of time, this would be very uncomfortable in your hand. And that's the edges and whatnot. It's not so much the shape because your hand falls in really nicely here. Your fingers fall in and lock in. So in that regard, it's nice, much like this. You know, I don't know which. They both are equally comfortable in grip. And your hand locks into both of them about equally. But this shape with the contouring on the edges is going to be much more comfortable long term. So, but the blades, let's zoom in a little bit here. 
They're very similar in stonewash. They're obviously very similar in shape. I think the plunge line on the Shirogorov is just a little more, I don't know, a little more sexy. It's uh, just contoured a little better. And, you know, I just, I don't know. Something about it just looks nicer to me than this one. The jimping on the top is much more aggressive on the Shirogorov. But they both are equally comfortable. And I think the the actual use on the Scout is much more usable. You know, it's not quite as aggressive, but I think they're closer together. So it does provide more traction than the Shirogorov. So all in all, they both have pluses and minuses. I think this one has minuses because it's compared to that one. If this stood alone, I think if they each stood alone, you would be happy with the either one. There, there'd be no complaints really about either one other than the lanyard hole on the scout. That's just a bummer. That's like a legit bummer. Like if this was mine, I would almost have to order them, see if they would just make me a backspacer and ship it to me with no hole and I would switch it because that would just bug me. But standing alone, they're each totally fine. But side by side, there's some pluses and minuses to each of them, I think. You know, the jimping on this could be better over here. The backspacer and the, the materials, I would just like the pocket clip, the Timascus clip better. So I don't know, just a kind of a, wanted to kind of compare because Alex bought these two compare and for his himself as just owning them both. So let me know what you think. If you have any experience with either of these, let me know your thoughts because I would love to hear what you guys think or based on the things that I've described, what do you think? I don't know if there's a clear winner. I'm not going to say there's a winner or a loser. That wasn't the point. I just had some comparisons. There are some features of this that I would like to see on this if it were up to me to build a knife out of these two. I would take some parts off of here and put it onto here. That's all. So, but kind of a cool comparison. I'm super appreciative of Alex for loaning both of these into me um, and shipping right now at Christmas time during this whole pandemic and, and the, the shipping stuff taking forever to get everywhere and him still trusting to ship. And, and I am too. I've shipped out knives to people just the last several days. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're not going to stop doing what we do just because the shipping is behind, right? I mean, I don't know. It's to be expected here in December. Everybody's complaining, but at the end of the day, it's Christmas time. It's COVID. There's less employees working in the shipping companies, in the carriers. There's going to be delays and it just is what it is. I don't get too emotional. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow.